Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. And if you're new here, welcome. I do hope you'll like the video. I make videos about getting out of debt, becoming financially independent, and generally just bossing life. So if that's something you're interested in, check out some of my other content and subscribe if you're interested. We are all in a little bit of a crappy situation at the moment with everything that's going on and it's really easy to get sucked in and become quite negative and sad and just generally like a little bit hopeless so I thought it would be great to make a video just talking about the positives of the lockdown, how to look at things positively and how to make the most out of the situation that we're in. These are all things that I'm implementing into my life and I hope that they will help you and help you see that there are positives to the situation that we're in. So without further ado, let's just jump straight into the top ways that you can make the most out of the lockdown. So number one is learn something. Now this can be job related or not. So for me, it's job related. I'm taking the time to find some courses online for things like Excel and really up my skills in Excel because my current job is really, really Excel heavy. And although I know a lot about Excel and I can find my way around a spreadsheet and I can do a lot of the formulas, the team I'm currently in are all absolute wizards at Excel. And I think to Excel at my job, I have to be better at Excel. So I've gone and found some courses on Udemy. This is not sponsored, they are not giving me money. Um, I will put a link down below. It's just gonna be a normal link, no affiliate, bleh, no affiliate links or anything. But I found some courses there and I'm basically just learning some Excel to help me get better at my job. However, you can also learn things for fun, which will make you just feel happier. These can be things that you've been meaning to learn for a long time, but just haven't had the time. Things like, you know, learning a new language or knitting or something like that. Tip number two is if you haven't started to already, learn to budget. If you haven't started already, this is a great time to start. Get all your finances together, make a spreadsheet. You can watch my video about my budget spreadsheet. You don't have to buy it, you can just make your own. But this is a great time to make this a habit, start doing it regularly. I personally do mine daily, but you don't have to do it as often as that. I just really like being on top of my numbers. Every time a transaction goes through, just checking my bank, checking my credit cards, everything, just to make sure everything is on track. Number three is learn to cook. Now, this is not what I'm enjoying, I'm not gonna lie, but it's gonna save me a lot of money going forward. A lot of the reasons why I tend to buy food outside is because I hate cooking. There are only so many bland meals you can eat for lunch and dinner before you crave something from a takeaway. So I've really been using this time to learn to cook so that I can save money on lunches and dinners going forward after the lockdown. My fourth tip is to declutter your online and physical space. So I've been doing this through decluttering my wardrobe and going through all my online stuff, like decluttering stuff from my computer, moving stuff onto Dropbox, setting up a Dropbox, putting all my files in there, organizing them, everything like that. And it feels so good because when your space around you is clear, and that includes your online space, you just feel more productive and happy and at peace. So this is a great time to use to do that. You'll be surprised at how much more focused you feel. Number five is hustle. If you've had an idea for a long time about a side hustle that you wanna do, this is a great time to start. Don't think about it, just do it. If you haven't had any ideas, this is a great time to research. Research what kind of side hustles you can do to make extra money, to become your own boss. This is a great time to start because it's not gonna take away from your valuable time that you might be using for something else. And you never know, it might take off. Even if you don't want to start your own business, this can just be a great time to look at ways of making money from home and just making a little bit of extra cash on the side whilst you can. Things like apps that can make you more money or you know the websites where you can be a virtual assistant and all that kind of stuff. This is a great time to do things like that. The way I see it is if all I'm gonna do is sit here and watch Netflix, I might as well do something that's gonna help me progress. Things like making content, things like learning new skills and things like that. My sixth, sixth tip to get, I'm really struggling to speak today. My sixth tip to make the most out of lockdown is to get into those healthy habits that you were meaning to get into for a while. It takes 21 days to form a habit. This is a great time to make sure you're doing it consistently with nothing else getting in the way in order to form that habit and then be more likely to stick to it when we all get let out of this lockdown. So have you always wanted to do yoga before you go to work? 
have you always wanted to have a green smoothie every day? Things like that. Just if you start it now, you are far more likely to have it as a proper habit by the time we can all go back to work. The seventh tip might not apply to everyone, but if you are fortunate enough to still be working from home and things like that, make the most out of the money you're actually saving by staying at home. So by not commuting, by not going out to have drinks or food and things like that, use that money not just to spend because you have some extra money, use it to pay off your debt or invest or anything like that. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.